Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2020-2021 Panini, uh, Panini, Upper Deck Allure Hockey. Five, it's been a long time since Panini did hockey. Five box, half case, random team break number two. One spot gets you uh, two teams, uh, random team number eight. All card ship, ducks and coyotes are comboed up. You can see right there. Big thanks to Chad and Courtney for getting in on this one. So let's double you up. Each spot gets you two. Let's roll it. Let's randomize names and teams. Uh, six and a two, eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Uh, Courtney down to Courtney. And six and a two, eight times for the teams. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. After eight times, we've got Detroit down to Buffalo. All right, well, Courtney, you have all the teams except for Chad with the Oilers. And Chad also has the Pittsburgh Penguins. There you go. Um, I'm going to pause the video. Maybe if Courtney wants the Oilers or the Penguins, maybe there'll be an offer there. So we'll pause really quick, give it a few seconds. And when we come back, we'll have the break. Stick around. All right, welcome back. No deals were done. Here on Tuesday the 5th in this Allure Hockey Break, pick your team, or random team number 8. Big thanks everybody here for getting in on it. Courtney and Chad. Let's see what we got. Hopefully big hits for both. Remember I marked those 8 so we know they're from the same case. Good luck, good luck, good luck. We got hockey uh, preseason games already underway. So hockey season's about to start pretty soon. Remember, all card chips, so everything you see here you'll be getting, including these rookies. There's Allure Diagnostics, Brent Burns, Connor McMichael, and this is pretty cool. This is a City Selly, Brendan Gallagher, I think in a different parallel here, which is pretty cool. That'll be for Montreal. And I like these uh, these double rainbows right here as well. So all these cards are going to be for Courtney Bishop, except for Oilers and Penguins. Those are the teams that Chad has. And we got a rookie red rainbow, Thomas Harley, and a City Sally, Kale McCarr. It's pretty good. Colorado. Thomas Harley, rookie red rainbow for Dallas. Ooh, this is pretty nice. We've got an Alexi Lafreniere. Double rainbow, nice. This will be in the seventy five, maybe. Nice, Rangers. Courtney and Amber, there you go. Nice.
Yeah, these double rainbows are a little bit little bit thicker cardstock. It looks really sharp. I think this is the first one of these I've I've seen for Lafreniere. Igor Zamula, red rainbow. Josh Norris, rookie, and a Jake Evans autograph for Courtney and the Canadiens. Red Rainbow Auto. And we've got a orange slice die cut. Martin Jones for the Sharks. Iced out Miro Heiskanen. And that was the first box. Next one. Wild card. All this pregame preamble happening. Weather looks good here. Wind blowing in a little bit. Um, we've got a little poll going on, uh, going in the chat. If you're looking at the, uh, if you're on a laptop or a desktop, or whatever, it should be a little blue box at the top of the chat that'll show you the poll. And uh, I think it should be in a big blue box on a on your on a mobile device as well. But. Um, 33 votes. We've got 55% saying the Yankees. That's what they're going with. So far, so good, Rick. Thanks for checking in. Just excited to do some breaks. Excited to see the AL wild card game. So, should be a good night. There's Andre Vasilevsky, Red Rainbow, and a Nicholas Bodine. Six out of 99 green quartz for Chicago. There's a Connor McDavid for the Oilers. Those will go to uh, those will go to Chad. Remember, Chad has the Oilers and the Penguins, and uh, Courtney Bishop has the rest. This Gabe Velarde, looking forward to looking forward to him uh, as one of the leading youngsters for the Kings. There's another City Sally parallel here. Vegni Kuznetsov. 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 And we've got a Kiefer Bellows rookie relic. Yeah, that Obsidian's pretty close. We just need to move that. Um, we just need to move that number block. It's only 10 spots left. All right, Islanders for Courtney. Josh Norris, rookie red rainbow. And Josh Norris, Ottawa Senators autograph for Courtney. Forty-six out of two ninety-nine on that one, Courtney. Alex Belzeal and Jason Robertson. All right, next box.
All right, next box. Good luck to both of you. There's Anders Lee, red rainbow, and we've got a, another rookie, double rainbow, Igor Korshkov for Toronto. Double rainbow, I like that parallel. Allure Diagnostics, uh, Zach Paris, and James Van Rietmik, Orange Slice die cut for Philadelphia. And I think this is the first uh, NHL Shield parallel I've seen. That's Alexander Barkov. Wow, low number right here, too. NF NHL Shield 1917, and that's one out of 17. That's pretty cool. Courtney with Florida. That's why I haven't seen so much many of these parallels. They're out of 17. Victor Soderstrom. And there's your autograph, Jonas Johansson. Buffalo! Buffalo Sabres for, for uh, Bishop with the Buffalo Sabres. Nice red rainbow auto. I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I'm looking forward to um, the NHL back on ESPN. Because I think with the, uh, with the power of a big network like ESPN, a lot more eyeballs on, on the hockey. And I think that will eventually lead to, hopefully it'll eventually lead to uh, just an increase in hockey's popularity. Right, and then once a little more popularity means maybe some better value for some of the hockey cards we've been collecting over the recent years with jazbeescasebreaks.com. It can be good things for uh, for everybody. Second to last box. Thanks, everybody, for getting in. Appreciate it. Thanks to Chad and Courtney, specifically. There's Anthony Mantha iced out in a different parallel. we got a couple different parallels here. I think these iced out parallels are really cool. And similar pattern for the Morgan Gecki. Grand Entrance Blue. Oh, there's the number right there. 54 out of 99. Tommy's saying hockey suffering like boxing. <laughs> That's why ESPN paid so much for the rights to broadcast hockey. And hockey's on the rise. And I think it'll continue to be on the rise with ESPN getting the broadcasting rights. This is a big win for hockey. Another Alexi Lafreniere. And another, uh, that's a uh, rainbow. Black rainbow Alexi Lafreniere, nice. So a few more for, uh, for Courtney Bishop. And there's Philip Kurashev. Now, I think hockey's actually doing pretty well, Tommy. You should see some of the secondary market prices for, for hockey and the hobby. A lot of great value there. One of our biggest hits was a Connor McDavid RPA. It sold for a boatload. 
hockey is actually not suffering. It's under probably undervalued. I think would be the better better word for it. There's Krill Kaprizov. Nice uh, red rainbow extended rookie autograph, who I think is a Minnesota Wild, if I'm not mistaken. And I think he got a big contract too. Yeah, he's a Minnesota Wild. He just got paid recently. So that goes to the Wild, and that's for Courtney. Nice hit. This is probably one of the bigger hits of the, uh, there, yeah. Amber's not suffering. <laughs> there you go, Bishops. Plenty of time to uh, redeem it as well. And the Call Your Calder Trophy winner, says Amber. There's Alexander Alexeyev, orange slice die cut, and another Alexi Lafreniere grand entrance insert. You know, I think the, I want to say the LeBron and the Connor McDavid RPA, pretty similar. I think the LeBron logo man ended up selling for a little bit more. But relatively speaking, I don't think the Connor McDavid RPA was too far behind. And that Connor McDavid was a was a. Uh, and I think that Connor McDavid had has more room, has more ceiling, more room to grow in value. I think maybe the McDavid was like one fifty or something like that. And then LeBron ended up for close to two. But I think that was probably that was probably the ceiling for the LeBron. I feel like the um, I feel like the Connor McDavid though has a lot of a lot of headroom. Yeah, my reaction was oh, and then the light bulb went up. It was also uh, it was also kind of a situation with the LeBron where I didn't want to like drop the card. I, I didn't want to be so excited that I would like drop the card. I was just kind of on like this mode of, all right, sleeve it, top load it, take care of it first before you start waving it around. Be careful with it. All right, last box. There's a Connor McDavid. There's a City Selly. Black rainbow for the Connor McDavid for uh, for Chad and the Oilers. Oh wow, another NHL nineteen. This is nineteen forty-five. So the different years there. Fifteen out of forty-five. So that's what the logo looked like in the mid forties. I think there's like a little bit of a orangey outline. Correct. The guy who won it was in a number block. There's Jordan Bennington for St. Louis. It's 15 out of 45, highlighting the NHL Shield in 1945. More Alexi Lafreniere. Right, Jack's correct. If that McDavid can win a couple of cups, that card will skyrocket. And it's great that ESPN has the broadcasting license now because that's going to help. There's Alexis Lafreniere again. Because uh, I'm assuming ESPN has the finals too. I guess it would be on ABC maybe. But ESPN pushing hockey all season long and McDavid gets to a Stanley Cup final this year. There's Connor McMichael. And Connor McMichael again, piece of his jersey. It's going to be huge. Capitals, that'll be for Courtney. All 
right, Alex Belzeal, Red Rainbow, Jason Robertson. And we got a jersey and autograph for Dallas, Thomas Harley. Rookie jersey and auto for Courtney and Dallas. 25 out of 75. Blue line auto jersey. And another auto. Tyler Benson. Grand entrance. Green quartz autograph. This is an oiler. Chad Meyer. There you go, Chad. Green auto for you. Nice. So Chad walks away with an auto as well. And another Connor McDavid. And there you have it. That was 2020, 2021 Upper Deck Allure Hockey, five box, random team break number eight. Pretty solid stuff. Thanks to Chad. Thanks to Courtney uh, for getting into the action. We appreciate it. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.